Welcome back to a new video. So I'm sorry I haven't posted in a few weeks. I am back to hopefully posting. I'm starting the day by putting some Zaflora in a bowl with some hot water or boiling water and I'm just going to pop this bowl in every single room of the house, like just a few minutes in each room and it really scents the room like a fresh lemony smell. I do that every single week, it works perfectly. Today I'm actually cleaning in my kitchen. Technically I cleaned the whole house but I just filmed the kitchen because for me filming and cleaning takes a very long time and I don't want to have to film the whole house every single a week so I was thinking every week I will film a different room of the house that I'm cleaning and I think that will motivate me to film a little bit more because I do enjoy filming these videos but yeah I just started by hoovering in here the kitchen does get quite messy because this is where the dogs eat and obviously where I'm cooking and food drops and that kind of thing so it does tend to be a little bit messy as you can see on the worktops I have a lot of mess on them and that is also because obviously I'm hoovering so I picked everything up on the floor and put it on the side so it's not usually like that. Every week I also mop the floors. I just use the Zaflora water that I had in every room just to kind of reuse that. And I also add in a little bit of fairy liquid and this is literally all I use to clean my floors. And I think the kitchen is a good one to clean. I also clean my bathroom floor as well, but like I said, I didn't show that in this video. But I just like to keep them smelling nice and fresh and like I said, it gives like a really nice lemony smell. Today my dad was actually round and he was putting up the shelves for me. Um, on the back that you can see so he actually puts the shelves up before I filmed this clip so these clips are not 100% in order but how I edited them makes a little bit more kind of sense like it continues on a little bit more better it's hard to explain but basically they're not fully in in the sequence of the day so those shelves were technically um, you'll be seeing them get put up in a minute basically um, whereas in this clip they're already up I'm really warm because I recently got this new hoodie from Girl of Muse, which is the brand by Gemma Louise um, on YouTube. I watch her videos and it's so cozy. I got it in the shade chocolate and in the size extra large and I got oversized because I wanted to be like super cozy and comfy and yeah, I'm quite warm now to be fair. Now I've been cleaning but yeah, it's really comfy and I would recommend it's a fleece on their website. So this is my dad and he's just measuring up the wall to put a couple of shelves up for me. I wanted a couple of shelves because I wanted space to put my mugs. They are taking up one of my cupboards and I just want that cupboard space for more food and tins and things like that. And I think that my kitchen could really benefit with some shelves on them. So in the future, I might put a few more shelves up. But for now, this is all that I was doing. But yeah, he was just drilling holes in the wall and... Um, and yeah just putting the shelves up I don't know you can see in the video anyway but this was really helpful and it looks really good at the end like in my opinion and it makes a big difference to my house and also space wise it makes a big difference as well which is just what I needed do you have any commentary or not? I've, I've uh, got the voice over the top after why unless you have oh, something to I, say I'm just saying that Obviously you've got to get it level, but then you always want to drill it with a smaller drill first because if it runs off a little bit and then 
you, when to open the hole out, you can then move the hole slightly by angling it to bring the hole square again. Or so always use a very small drill. Plus, if you do get it in the wrong place, you've still got a chance. If you've got a small hole you can fill and redo. Yeah. It. So yeah, small drill and then work your way up bigger. If you just go straight in with the right size drill, you'll, you'll, it, might, it might wobble and then you, your wall club will be too uh, sloppy. <clears throat> You'll see in a minute, and I'll do this and tap it in, it'll be a perfect Hopefully. Fit. So if you use a smaller drill first, you can drill the smaller drill deeper, then drill the, the right size hole at the right depth for that, and then you've got a deep hole for the screw to go further in if you need to. But and also, you can make a neater job of the hole, if you see here. And then that just taps in nicely. Winner! Dad, you look like a burglar with that hat on. Do I? Yeah. <coughs> That's all right. Look at this mess. And I just figured I had to put some astroturf down because the dogs don't pee outside. How, how much was this, by the way? It was twenty five pounds. Was it? Okay, it's not too bad. Um, and already one of them's peed on it, so that's good. Yeah. Dad's just put in the run up. The rabbit run for the rabbits. So I was also building a little home and a little rabbit run as well. As you can see outside, I just thought whilst dad's here, he can help me do that. And it's just like one of those things that I've just been meaning to do for a while. I know it is cold outside, but you know, they're fine. I don't put them out when it's freezing or when it's raining and they have their little home and they also have a little hot water bottle. It's technically not water. It doesn't have water in it because if it did, they would 100% burst it open and probably kill themselves. Um, yeah. So no, it's just something that you put in the microwave and heat up and it is specifically for bunnies as well. So that's cute. Um, but yeah, I was just in the kitchen, just tidying up now. Obviously I've hoovered the floors. I've mopped the floors. I'm just tidying stuff off the surfaces and I'm going to wipe down certain items in my house, um, in my kitchen, like my, oh yeah, my dog chewed that. How annoying. Um, like the microwave, the sink area, I also give a good wipe. And just things that I don't wipe every single day. The actual countertops I wipe every single day after I've washed up. And you'll see in this video that I don't do that in the video. And I haven't washed up in this video either. So there will still be some washing up on the side and my countertops aren't clean. But that's because I was just saving the washing up until later. So I do do that. I promise I don't just let it get absolutely crazy. But yeah. This is also something that I do to every single room as well.
as I said earlier in the video, I have also bought some AstroTurf to put outside and it's to try and encourage my dogs to pee outside. I have had Cupcake, my first dog, for nearly a year now and she is fully trained to go and pee outside in any house that has grass outside, but my house doesn't have grass outside so she just never pees outside. Like I will stand there for ages and she just refuses to pee. She just doesn't think to do it. And my second dog, Teddy, who I got recently, um, oh by the way, I don't smoke, just thought to point that out, that's my boyfriend's um, tobacco on the side, just in case anyone's wondering. Um, fun story. But yeah, so Teddy doesn't pee outside either, so I thought to get AstroTurf and it works. They've been peeing outside, it's been successful, they do still have the odd accident inside, but yeah, they have been peeing outside and I'm very happy about that. So that was a big success and I'd recommend. So we've just done a food shop. Normally we shop at like random places like Morrison's or Tesco's or Lidl, but this time we decided to try something new and we shopped at Iceland. So I'm going to show you what we got. We got these frozen chicken breast fillets, sliced carrots, sausage rolls, specifically Greg's, a tiger bread roll, a frozen chocolate cheesecake. Jamie got this toad in the whole thing. Um, some cheese, some toilet blocks. It was only like one pound something and you get six toilet blocks um, that you put in the back of the cistern. Then I got these cheese triangles, these two sets of cereal bars to take to work. We got this frozen chicken mince. It looks a bit weird, but we'll give it a try. We're going to make a lasagna, but it's going to have chicken mince instead. Um, then we've got Febreze. I needed that because I forgot and I ran out earlier. I got these for my lunches, these crisps, cheese and bacon. I've never had those. Um, and then Jamie got these crisps for his. Got cucumber, beans, big pack of spaghetti, shower gel, orange juice, milk, passata, eggs. I got some, what's this? Spaghetti, tin spaghetti. Um, Jamie got some deodorant. We got some chicken slices, ketchup, brown sauce, lasagna sheets for the lasagna, salad for my sandwiches in the week, apples. I just got this for like one of those times where you want to do like a quick meal. Some double cream, um, which I'm using in a recipe to do with pasta. Um, some oil and some coffee. And that was everything that I got from Iceland. I'm now gonna pack it away.